Hi, this is Treb from Marquee Insights, and I'm here to talk about the latest changes that are happening right now, rolling out to your tenants for Power BI goals. So what I'm going to do is take you on a quick tour of what those changes are and why they might be important. In one case, with permissions, we're going to have a deeper dive coming up, but I'll briefly show you what's available right now and how you can get to that information. So with that, let me go ahead and share my screen and let's take a look and see what's coming up here. I'm going to move over and I'm going to show you just your normal scorecard. Uh, in fact, usually when you're in a scorecard, you're in read mode, so it looks very much like this. And one of the big, com big feedback items that we've heard from people is, I really want to have more control over what do we see here. And, you know, I, the layout is good, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it's not quite right. So how do you do that? So if you go into edit mode now, one of the things you should be seeing, if you're not seeing it, do control F5, make sure you've refreshed your browser, but hopefully you, you will see this today, is this ability uh, to click this drop down next to a column. So the drop down has changed a bit. It used to be just simply a sort, but now there's a new option for column settings. And if you go to this and you go under show and hide, now not only can we hide things, so I could like hide owner, but I could also move my, uh, my notes up. So if I wanted to move my notes up by the status, like so, there we go. And now when I click apply, voila, look what I've got. I've now got more room to show my, uh, the name of my goal. I don't have the owner field. Maybe I don't want it for some reason, but my status is now moved up. My notes are more apparent. And then again, I have all of my other information here. So this is, this is a great thing. I'm very happy about this. This adds a whole lot of possibilities for this. Now, another thing that people have given feedback on is currently when I need somebody to do a check-in, the permissions I give them also give them the ability to edit the scorecard. That's really not what we want to have happen here. We want the ability to just give them access to just do the check-in. So one of the things that they've added now, if you go under the gear here, uh, and you look at the scorecard settings, you now see this new thing called permissions. And this will show you right now, we've got some different permissions. This check-in only is one I just added. Uh, this is the default, this is view and update all. So I'm gonna click the ellipsis because you know all the good stuff's under the ellipsis menus. Click edit, and this will take us to our big screen. And what you're seeing here is, you know, if I'm just adding view only, I can add people to this role, I can put a description, but not only can I give them access to the scorecard, I can actually restrict, you know, which things that they get to see. So maybe in this case, you only get to see, um, let's not check that. Maybe I only get to see this goal or this goal. So we now have very granular control over what do people see when they come in here. Uh, this set for all uh, setting here essentially gives you the ability to say, set this for anything that gets added to the scorecard later. So again, this is how you get to this. We're going to do a deep dive on permissions later in our implementation series, but I want to let you know that this is here now. We have the ability to do more with uh, permissions. And this is awesome because people have been asking for this for a while. But wait, there's one more thing that you need to be aware of, and you might be seeing this in the service coming soon to the desktop as well. Uh, but we now have a goals custom visual, and this is so cool. So the way this works, you add it to the report surface just like this. And first thing it's going to do is prompt you. Do I want to create a new scorecard, which you can easily do through here, or do I want to connect to an existing one? So I'm going to go ahead and connect to an existing one. It's going to give me my list. So here I've got my customer service team, and there is the scorecard we were just looking at. Now, in my reporting solution, my, my users really like dark mode. And I'd really love to be able to have more control over how this looks. Well, guess what? You now have the ability to do that. Uh, so using this visual, so I've made this full screen, and I'm gonna go back to the report here. So the, again, uh, at the bottom here, you can, you can actually edit the scorecard through the visual, which I think is pretty amazing. So those changes I made earlier with the uh, the column settings, like I can move, you know, move it right. And this will actually change the scorecard, and uh, which is kind of cool. I can also replace the scorecard with another one from here if I wanted to. And I can open it in the service directly from here. But 
what I really want to do though, is I want to change the visuals. So let's go with that first. And I'm going to go to the roller brush menu, because remember we have two format menus. So just to make sure we're clear, the one on the, the pane here is the one we're talking about. And there's a bunch of new options in here. So we're going to go through, so for scorecard, here's the URL for the scorecard. So this is helpful if you are redirecting it, say to a new version. Uh, we've seen people where they have like their fiscal year 2021 scorecards. And now when fiscal 2022 comes up, they've got to be able to go in and update this, uh, this URL very easily. But again, I want dark mode because I, I want it to really pop and this gray on white, it's okay. So we're going to change the background color to a very dark gray because, you know, it's like the Batman theme where it's just black and grays and it's getting there. Okay. This is, this is a possibility. Let's keep going. The header at the top. So if you don't want this at the top because it's already on a report and maybe I have something else, I can actually uh, turn off the, the title and the subtitle by itself. I can turn off the cards, just make it look like, like that. Uh, I can also control the background color again, so make it the same color. I can change the fonts, or I can just simply turn off the whole thing like this. Voila. So depends on what you need. And again, it's very customizable here. In this case, maybe I want to make it just slightly lighter. I don't know. You, you could you can have fun playing with this. And the best part is there is theme support for this too. So that's an upcoming article that's gonna be published uh, in the docs, but we have the ability now, if you're building out JSON themes, you can actually, there's JSON statements for everything that we're changing here so that you can go ahead and add this capabilities into your theming. All right, so that was the header, but let's talk about the columns now. So the columns are really just those column headers. And it really, you know, the thing is if I turned off my header and I turned off my columns, this gets to be really compact, which is really nice if I'm trying to include this with other stuff in my report. But in this case, I'm going to leave them on and I'm going to change my font color to white. So again, I've got a dark background here. And we're slowly getting to our dark mode here, but we're just not quite there yet. And so we're now we're going to look at goals. Again, in this case, I want black. We're going dark. And and change this to white. At one point, ooh, this is starting to look really cool now. And again, you know, I can make, I can turn off my column headers and I've got something I could definitely use somewhere else here. The details pane. So this comes in when you click the notes. Notice right now it's all white and bright and we wanna make it match the other uh, theme here. So I'm going to go through the details pane. I'm going to change my background color to this dark color that we had here. So again, I could go lighter, you know, again, play with this a bit. I want my font colors to be white and the chart background. This is where maybe we go with a lighter gray, like something like that. That looks nice. And again, the, the text on this is good as black because it's still readable. Uh, the card background. So that's this piece here. Maybe we do the same thing. We go with that lighter gray. Again, just kind of tone it down a bit. And then again, we'll leave the text color black. But again, I could, you know, maybe make it blue. Let's make it, you know, add a little pizzazz if that if that works for you. Uh, we're gonna leave the title off because again, that's pretty standard for every custom visual. And let's see, I think that's it. And please don't put borders on your visuals. It just, nobody likes putting their, their data in jail and there's already a border. So it, it just don't add to it. Um, and let's see, shadow, and I probably will turn the visual header off, which is this thing here, simply because I, I don't need, you know, I don't really want it. Uh, so I'm gonna turn that off. But now I've got this in a report. I can have this report added to an app directly before we had to add a link and it was sort of kludgy the way it was in there. The other thing too is you can put this report, if you're using deployment pipelines, you can now put this report in a pipeline because scorecards before did not support pipelines. So again, this gives you a different way to get access to this. And we're gonna, again, we're gonna go into this in more detail where this may be a, another way of giving those users who need to do check-ins access to this, this functionality without having to force them to go directly to the workspace. Because now it's in a report, I can get to everything, but I can also embed this report into a SharePoint site or into a Teams pain or something like that. It just opens up a world of possibilities. Hopefully you've enjoyed this particular uh, walkthrough. Uh, if you have any questions, please post it below in the comments. 
and stay tuned. We have a lot more posts coming out on Power BI goals as these changes are coming out. Thanks.